And this is my movie room, the last day of 2021. Do you guys like the movie room? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I got the poster over there, the movie. And then, uh, ah! I have my 120 inch projector screen here and there's actually a TV behind it as well. Sometimes I play them at the same time to get the Atmos from the, to get Atmos from the uh, 2D movie and then get 3D from the 3D movie. This movie, I have to do that for example. Yep, there's Godzilla vs. Kong. Here I have my projector mounted on the side of the wall here. Oh, yeah. Um, I did have one ceiling mounted before, um, but I thought this was a little more cinematic anyway, just to have it behind you, and it was like the perfect place to put it, Wait, to Daddy. have the whole picture on the Don't screen. Forget. Don't forget this part. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Get it, him in the face! Oh, man. Uh, yep, yeah, and then... Uh, just a couple of months ago, we added a Miss Pac-Man to here. Uh, Walmart had a great sale on one. Um, you know, it's one of the stock versions, so it doesn't have the little marquee and stuff, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, it's great. And then, uh, actually, over here, I forgot to turn this on. I have my pinball machine. And it has a couple of issues, and it does that every time I turn it on. Sometimes it doesn't do it at all. And also, you can know that it came out in in March 31 because we have this picture and then it says March 31. You know, did it come out that date? I don't know. I think it might have been delayed to May. In theaters, March 31. I remember that was delayed multiple times. I think it was delayed till May. Thank goodness. And then, um, but yeah, this poster actually started this whole... Uh, thing of me trying to get them backlit. So these are backlit movie posters. You might have saw from a previous video. Um, I wanted just one of these posts, this poster in particular, ever since I saw the trailer for this movie, and then realized, oh, well, there's a double-sided version of it. And I was like, well, what's that about? And then I looked it up and found out double-sided means it should be illuminated from the back to you know, have it reach its full potential. And then it looks amazing. Um, yeah, it looks just like a really good poster by itself, but um, but yeah, so I have a whole other video that explains how I did that whole process, but that poster was how I got that all, or what started all of that. So I, I custom made all three of these light boxes, and I have another one over there, and I made four more trying to sell them. Yeah, and there's my pinball machine. Um, one of my favorite mods I did to this theater is I added a amplifier down there to show you later. Um, and it helps uh, add uh, vibrations to the chairs, make it feel like a real movie theater experience. It actually helps out the subs. It's pretty nice. Um, so all four of the chairs, one, two, three, four, have bass shakers in them. And you can kind of see them from here. So see right there, I actually had to mount a new piece of wood and I mounted these things called bass shakers in there. I can have links to them in the description. I'll have links in the description to them. All the parts that I used to, to help make them. Daddy, you forgot about yes, well. You forgot about this chair, right? Oh, yes. And this, this couch, these two couches actually came with the house. Um, you know, I talked about my game room video of 2019 or something. That the next house we'd move into Daddy, would have... The... Yeah, one second, Jackson. The next house we would ha move into, um, I'd really like to have a, mo a movie room in it. And thankfully this house had one. So, um, you know, I've only, I'll, I'll actually go over the, what I changes I made. I added in the projector screen. I added in a projector. Um, it already had two ceiling speakers. So it had a 5.1 point, uh, yeah, 5.1, or no, 5.2, no, no, it was a 5.1.2 setup. So five, five channels and then two channels in the ceiling um, and then one sub. Um, so I added in another sub and then I added in four more ce ceiling speakers. So now I actually, if I really had a receiver that could handle it, I actually have a 5.2.6 
setup, but I can't do that. I can only do 5.2.4, so I actually shuffle these two back and forth depending on where I'm sitting. If I'm sitting in the front row, I'll turn on these two speakers. If I'm sitting in the back row, I'll turn on these these two. I know, actually, I shuffle these I shuffle these two. That's what it is. So right now, those two up in the front are turned off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, these actually I leave on all the time. It's it's uh, th this one or this one I turn on. So not perfect, but it was already set up like this. Ah! Yep. That took me a lot of work to get that working. I had help from a friend. Definitely pinball expert to help me don't fix that. Don't forget about that when something big happens on a movie, the chairs vibrate now. That's well, right. That didn't happen when we first moved in. My my dad, my dad is just using you guys, holding you guys, and he made all these chairs vibrate when something big happens on there. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Great job, Will. Not even a joke. Yeah. And then th these chairs came at the house, thankfully, and they have these two outlets and two USB pluggers, so that's pretty nice. A couple of lights in the back, they usually had those lit up. Um, yeah, so I added in the bass shakers, I added in uh, four more ceiling speakers, these two lights on the wall, I added those in. And those are actually smart lights in there, so I could change them whatever color I want. Um, these lights are actually on the uh, on this, uh, this step here already. Um, and this was actually added in after the fact by the previous person that owned the house too, so that was nice. And they already had the in-wall speakers. I that like, was very, uh, very thankful for that. There's I actually like, a couple right there. I can hear them just fine though. I like these stairs. Me too. I, I love them when they come. Mm -hmm. Dad, I don't have to work on them. Why? Yeah, I love that they came at the house. Okay, we'll turn that on and... I brought my popcorn maker. I actually had one here. This fridge used to have a little light strip in it, but that light strip burnt out, but it's kind of for the best anyway, because um, now it doesn't, uh, it's not a, as much light in my peripheral vision when I'm watching a movie. So it was pretty nice. Nice little fridge. What do you think so, Will? I think so. Good. It's great. Um, yeah, I just got some few drawers. They actually wired this LED to uh, show up if I open the door. It's actually in there. So I, I was going to replace this blue LED strip, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that. Um, so we'll see. Um, and then over here is my tower. They actually left this with the house, which is pretty Daddy. pretty nice of them too. Daddy. Yes, Will. Don't forget to tell them about my channels because I make some good, I make some channels too. Oh, yeah. My channels. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and he makes a really great channel. Yeah, I um, think I made like a billion. Yep. Okay, um, and then uh, in here, I don't have, uh, don't climb on that, I don't have a big complex setup. I'm going to turn the light now, Jackson. Good thing the movie's over. I don't spend all my money on this yeah. stuff, um, so it, I can hear it, all the channels are all working, so this, I pretty much just have my one receiver for that. And um, yeah, it's a Pioneer BSX LX303. Um, I'm not sure how easy they are to find anymore. They were rather readily available on eBay for around 350 a couple of years ago. I haven't been able to find one since uh, when looking for others. Yes, I will. And then I have multiple players here because sometimes I need to play two movies at the same time to mux the sound together. I have my PS3 here for 3D movies. I have a PS4 here. I probably will relocate this to the man cave, um, but it's there for now. Got my PS5, my Xbox Series X. I actually hooked up in a, my 360 and played some classic games recently. I have my PSVR. There's one sub. My other sub is over there um, underneath the pool table or the uh, pinball machine. And I have a record player and my Dreamcast down there. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's um, for the my wireless headphones that he's holding. Thank you, Will. Up here, I was starting to collect movie props. Um, oh, that's not one. And that one is, isn't one either. Um, up here, there's somebody that sells uh, the movie... Movie Relic... Relicuri. 
Um, but yeah, they sell these like fragments from movies sometimes. I, I got like four of these at once. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how much I would spend on these like individually, but it was a pretty good package deal. This is part of the Death Star 2. I thought it was pretty neat. You know, I don't think these will really gain in value too much over the years at all, but I think they're really neat for what they are. A fragment of an alien egg. Uh, this actually came with it. Yeah, this was a bonus, um, but this is for like from episode one. It's like an awning from one of the things. And then this was only like five bucks, um, so that was pretty neat. So they, he has some really good deals on some things. And, um, you know, this movie is okay, but I just thought it was pretty neat. This edible grass thing, I thought that was interesting. Um, and it was five dollars and uh, this helmet was uh, from my parents um, it's not from anything uh, this is just a piece of the floor from the Rockets stadium where they won two championships in the 90s I really like it I need to find a better place for it and these gauntlets are from the movie first night they're production used it's funny because the metal part is for like two left hands um, but the gloves are for left and right. So I don't know like what the, what situation they had going on there. But And also, I don't know who this Harrison person is. But if you watch the movie, you'll see a ton of people wearing outfits. outfits. So, um, you know, it's pretty obvious that this was used for an extra. And these things don't move in inside. Like, the front cover kind of looks like it does for Richard Gere. It was a Richard Gere, Sean Connery movie. But, yeah, I thought those were really cool. Over here, I have my Super 8 millimeter projector. Um, I really like it. I had a movie projector before this one, the Kodak Movie Deck, but it was eating through film. Um, if film gets stuck in there, then the light will actually burn right through the film, which is pretty scary. And that's another reason why I don't spend a lot on uh, film, because um, if the movie projector decides to quit working for some reason, it will just go right through the film. Um, so uh, my cap is around 30 to 50 bucks. Because some of these can get up there. But, yeah, they're really fun to to, uh, to use. You know, because it's very, you know, it's very, like, you know, it's not nostalgic for me because I never had this growing up. But it's a, it's a cool experience. It feels like I'm watching a piece of history when I see actual, like, real to real film stuff. So it's pretty, it's pretty And neat. down here, here is the amplifier that powers the... Um, the vibrating seats um it's just enough uh amazon reviews made it sound like yeah it would work for four of them it was a fozzy audio i can have the link for this thing too um and that actually saved some money from uh the website where they tried to package deal them um this was much cheaper to just buy this one and the four base shakers individually and some of these other movies and games are kind of my wall of shame here well some of these i beat like shimmy one and two it's my favorite games but Bunch of the other ones are movies I need to watch and movies and games I need to play. And this is the main cave. Still a work in progress, but I'm making progress slowly, surely. Walk in here. See right here. This is actually my main desk too for work. Um, normally work on a laptop, but you know, have these out for now. Um, up there is another movie poster I made. Um, yeah, and then bought the poster off eBay. Is that working? Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Yeah, I got those lights. Usually it's RGB. I had it red and white for Christmas time. Candy cane color. And then uh, I figure I have my guitar. I need to play that every once in a while. And then I have my virtual pinball machine I made. Um, it, this one is always a work in progress, um, constantly, and then eventually I'll work on the aesthetic of it. But, um, this is probably the newest addition to the man cave for right here, is my little NBA GM countercade. Absolutely love it. It's awesome. Um, only downside is it doesn't have the program uh, in Wi-Fi uh, for online play in it, but it's perfect for single player and local uh, multiplayer, you know, via second controller right there so I play my son in it a lot um, up here I have my guitars on the wall um, and all ones I play middle ones the one I used to play in a band with got my 12 string my acoustic I actually have a six string banjo somewhere and this is my main guitar which is the Dean Cadillac um, so I like to play those and I got my 
Some of these are autographed. Actually, yeah, all the CDs up there are autographed. Um, you know, Pantera, Dimebag, Vinny. Um, I even have Mastodon and Evergrey, a couple of my favorites. Um, I think I've talked about those before. And then um, this has always been changing. Um, it's my little entertainment center. Uh, normally I'd have my 4K 55 inch in there, but I have that in the other room now behind the projector screen. And uh, now it, this is um, a TV I watch a lot, honestly, for DVDs. Um, like I have my Rockets original championship DVDs in there that are fun to watch. I also collect laser discs. I have a, a nice curated collection over there of laser discs I like to watch and VHS tapes and mainly, of course, retro gaming as well as fun. Um, got all my NECA alien stuff and Predators. Um, you know, up top you'll see a neon sign. It's from my late grandfather. And um, this is also a new edition, which is the Next printer. Um, I can't afford the Next uh, Cube, which is the company that came after Apple for Steve Jobs and before he came back to Steve Jobs, uh, came back to Apple. Um, a nice comeback story on that one if you want to look into it. Um, up there, I have autographed shirt, autographed, yeah, two autographed shirts, Metallica and Pantera. Um, and then, uh, yeah, my, another Apple IIe here. And then I have another one in the garage that I recently came in uh, contact with. And uh, actually, this is an autographed Steve Wozniak uh, mouse. Um, you can actually buy those autograph from the man himself for not much money at all so I'd highly recommend everyone do it if you can then I have my floppy 2 emu device I honestly haven't really used that that this much because um, normally I'd use ADT Pro to get images off the internet but I bought it for a different project but I didn't even need it for that so I plan on using that a lot more in the future King Kong got an Apple book there's some alien stuff my Vectrex and um, I have more Vectrex stuff in my closet, but I haven't been using it lately. Uh, classic game room, it's awesome. Um, over here, I actually have my signed Willie Nelson uh, armrest, which is pretty awesome. I actually won a Willie Nelson truck, and um, he autographed the armrest and the dashboard, and I got that bandana came with it. It's pretty fun. And um, yeah, and so then I also bought this shelf to go underneath my virtual pinball machine and um yeah it works out pretty nicely i need to organize all that mess i have an apple 2c down there i need to find a spot for but might not have one in here at the moment back here i actually got this shelf for free somebody's throwing it out cleaned it up and uh yeah it looks pretty nice unfortunately i can't really make use of it too much back here behind this bar top thing but sometimes i'll lift up this uh HD, or not HD, uh, uh, this uh, VGA CRT uh, computer monitor, and I'll play like Warcraft 2 or something. And I'll put that on here, and this counter cage is new, so I'm not sure where I'd put that right now, but yeah, I make use of that. And then we got the Virtual Boy, of course. Um, haven't played that in a while, but I used to play it a lot. And then it's a Traveler guitar over there, because I feel like traveling with the guitar. I have my Dreamcast games, and most of my games are actually put up right now. Um, just because I don't really know where to put everything right now, and I've played a lot of them so many times, so I'm still trying to figure all that out and where to put all of that stuff. And um, it's just it's hard to kind of fit everything into picture in this in this room with this camera. But uh, signed rampage poster, uh, um, yep, and uh, Star Wars signed Rudy Tomjanovich. Uh, Rockets Sports Illustrated, um, got that uh, at the airport, like right after they won their first championship, I remember, it was pretty awesome. Um, up here, you can kind of see there's two ugly wires on the wall, or on the ceiling. This is just like a little makeshift, like 5.1.2 Atmos setup for when I watch movies with Atmos on this, this TV, but it's kind of rare, so I actually mostly use it for Atmos music is kind of fun so um but yeah so that's my setup for now and i got my spaceships over here 
about that. And um, over here I have my movie collection. Um, it's definitely not all of my movies, but it's the one I ones I choose to have on display in this shelf. Most of them are 3D Blu-rays, if I as I've gone over in different videos, like all right here, all of this column, and then all to about or all to there are all 3D. These are not, these are Mystery Science Theater down here and Rift Tracks and such. Um, and then over here, these are, a lot of them are 4Ks. Um, I have more 4Ks in a different room, but, um, and then I have my Godzilla movie collection, mostly Blu-rays. And um, then I have some more monster movies down there, mostly DVDs down there and a couple of comedies and see classic gamer in there and such and um down here didn't turn this on but um down here um starting from here here's uh, akira takarada um from godzilla and he was in for like the mother movie and king kong uh versus the robot king kong he was king kong escapes um he's he autographed that to me at a comic book convention um, to the left of that is Joel Hodgson from Mystery Science Theater, creator of Mystery Science Theater, and he starred in it for a number of years. Uh, he signed that for me and signed it to my only son at the time, Will, uh, which is pretty awesome. And then uh, over here is a pretty cool little thing. Um, that is an actual uh, piece of the, um, the model set that they built for the Godzilla 1998 movie with Matthew Broderick. Um, and there was a part of the movie where there was a spoiler alert. Um, there was part of the movie with Madison Square Garden. And um, this uh, part of the movie, um, a lot of that, actually a ton of that movie was done um, with handcrafted miniatures and such. And that's what this is. It's a screen used, um, you know, production used or whatever uh, prop from that movie, bleachers, you know, pulled out right out of that movie theater. Um, and I had a person craft this for me. I'm sorry for forgetting his name at the moment, but um, kind of made like a like a one or two pieces of this. And um, see, there's like a little screen capture from the movie there, what it would have been, where there's the eggs and such. And there's a fragment of the eggs from Godzilla in there as well. Um, and another screen lot look of it and it's like a little tiny shadow box and there's a little switch on the side a little watch battery that powers this illuminated light behind it which is pretty fun um you know down here is just my little robot fan too i got him from a garage sale he was super dirty cleaned them all up now i think it looks pretty nice um, um then i have my matte color classic um my friend uh, anton gave me a board um a new board in there and it started firing up again and i put a uh a scuzzy to sd hard drive in it as well as um what else did i put in it that was about it i think that was about it i'm probably blanking on it right now but um oh yeah i put a little bit more ram in there too um, but yeah it's, it's a fun computer it's a little slow but it's a uh, it's pretty cool and then um yeah, I have a bunch of other Macs and stuff around here. There's another Mac SC over there, and then I have another one laying around. And then uh, my friend Anton also recapped an SE30 for me, which is pretty awesome. There's an original iMac next to that. Of course, you got the power glove. Um, this old phone you see here um, it belonged to my uh, late grandparents on my mom's side. Family, uh, they, uh, he just passed uh, back in... It was right at around end of 2020, um, and they kind of asked me, like, oh, is there anything that you remember there that you would like? And I remember this phone from when I visited them, you know, back when I was a real little kid, and, uh, yeah, so they sent it to me, so I have it here. It's a, you know, family, family, um, family item that I'll pass down to my kids, too, if they want it. Um, just a little disco ball there, uh, autographed, uh, Timothy Zahn, um, comic book for, uh, the Thrawn books. Um, he also signed my Thrawn book as well, but that's what I have to say up there. Um, 
the Starship Enterprise actually was more illuminating earlier in the video. And I left it on for a few hours and now here we are again. Um, it's like starting to die, I need to recharge that. I plan on putting like some green lights or something in the board cube right there. I think that would be pretty neat. And uh, I think I've shown this, strange, but uh, I've shown this in um, different videos, but it's my Magnavox uh, record table console. There's records underneath this, but can't really pull that apart right now, but you know, it's, a, it's my record player. It's not the best, but it's uh, it's pretty neat to play things through this. It was, uh, this model was made around the late, early 70s. So it's pretty neat playing stuff through it. You know, it's not gonna be the best sounding one in the world, but it's pretty neat for what it is. And of course we got the Oculus Quest 2 and a bunch of wires, don't look at that. PS3, my Atmos receiver over there. And uh, yeah, and then over here, here's my custom bar top I made. Been fiddling with over the years, um, just randomly making new additions. I just, my newest addition is adding that trackball in right there, which I kind of regret because it's it's kind of a bad position for the first player to play different games other than trackball games and kind of slides into the other one right there too. And uh, I even put in a new PCB under there. And now the games aren't playing as normal with the RetroPie, but uh, so it's always a work in progress. Whenever I get it fully working, then I break it again <laughs> to work on it some more. Uh, then, of course, I have the Star Wars Arcade 1-Up Machine, which is pretty fun. Uh, the Final Fight, got this one for like 50 bucks from Walmart. Never planned on getting it, because it's just a two-joystick game, which I could just easily emulate these games on that one, but 50 bucks can't go wrong, and honestly, it's my youngest son's favorite machine, definitely. So, um, also added these trim on the side, which is already coming up. Need to add that again but yeah it's his favorite machine honestly for that game and final fight and uh this one usually has a riser on it but i have that in the other room for the miss pac-man right now because that was the newest machine but um i need to put a riser on this one too but that's a really great machine as well and then uh over here you know i have my uh custom built pc i made back in 2021. It is now 2022. Happy New Year. Um, just uh, rang like that uh, about 30 minutes ago, so pretty fun. Um, but yeah, uh, that's made that earlier this year. Um, it's constantly, um, constantly kept on, kind of just mining a little bit. And then, uh, yep, it's my movie poster, my Rift S. I still actually randomly use that just because sometimes the Quest 2 doesn't work correctly. Um, and then I have my virtual pinball machine turned off right now. Um, but yeah, and then NBA Jam, highly recommend it. And then, um, as you can see up here, um, yeah, I got the new Zelda. Game watch is pretty fun. I have more, a lot more Dreamcast controllers than this, but those are just taken down for right now. Um, this, I don't have batteries in it, but it's my modded Game Boy, and I modded another Game Boy. Um, that was like a blue backlight or a white backlight. Uh, this is kind of a new addition. Um, it's an original, uh, you know, original. It's like a early 1900s 3D viewfinder. It's pretty neat. And then I have all these cards here. Uh, ranging all the way back to like a, you know, late 1800s and such. This is actually of Palestine, which is pretty cool because that country doesn't really exist anymore. It's now Israel. So um, pretty neat. Got this from local Tomball Antique stores. And uh, this actually was on. So I'm going to turn it on again. Yep, it's my Shenmue 2 uh, little light box thing there. I thought that was pretty neat. Got that. Yep. And then uh, next to the 3D viewfinder, which is one of the very first versions of 3D, I have the first version of the Oculus there. Oculus DK Kit 1. Oculus uh, DK 1. Um, I have the case for that somewhere else, but it's just too big to display. But yeah. But yeah, this is the man cave. Hope you liked 
looking at these things. Um, and um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. I guess just uh, just to be funny, I'll show you the closet, which is a uh, complete and total pigsty. So um, <laughs> yeah, there's a banjo, there's all this stuff. Um, definitely need to find places for everything. It was looking 100% nicer than this before, but um, it does not take much to fill this room up again. So pretty crazy. <laughs> and then of course you got Lacuda's there all right thanks so much for tuning in and um you have a good night happy new year uh have a great 2022 appreciate it thanks bye